What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back. We're here with more of Hell of a Boss Season 2, Episode 6. And I will be recording Episodes 6 and 7 back-to-back, -back, but I'm going to be releasing it on two separate days for you guys on YouTube. So don't worry. I did watch them back-to-back -back when I recorded, but you guys are going to be getting on separate days. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Before we get started, though, you know the vibes. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. Also, to fill you in on a little information, I will be checking out a lot of, like, the music video stuff that's coming out. I will be watching Has Been Hotel when it releases and all the stuff in between. And if you want to catch us live, I stream over on Twitch every single day at Alicia X Life. If you're watching Alicia X Death, Alicia X Life is my Twitch. And if you want my schedule, it's on my Twitter, Alicia X Life VT, as in VTuber. Let's get it. Oh, that is gorgeous lighting. God damn. Oh. Uh. Uh. Thirsty boy. <laughs> what a vibe. Rise and shine, Ozzy. Again with the horn. Don't blame me. Blame how fucking fun they are. So today you have a meeting with. Honestly, yes. If I got a horn, I'd be wildin' with it too. He got heart nipples. Damn. Anyways. <laughs> Not chat saying Alicia energy. Okay, true, but damn. Wait, new vibrators. To safety meeting because of what happened with the old shipment of vibrators. And then you have a nooner with Prince Stolas. Ah, you scheduled me during lunch. Well, you're pretty good at squeezing things in. Oh, damn, the that shit. for a big old breakfast. Let me guess. I'm handling that too. I mean... Unless you want me to take a crack at cooking again. <laughs> no. All right, damn. Never again. What? Damn, he really Maybe can't I cook. Can burn the milk this time. Burn the milk. Stop. Oh, you know what I'm craving? Burgers. No, it's too early for burgers. Excuse you? It's never too early for burgers. Excuse you? That's a protein, bitch. <laughs> Listen. If I want to have early morning chicken wings, I'm going to do that. If I want early morning burger, you don't know what's your last meal going to be. You don't know when you're going to drop dead. All right? And if you think I'm going to end my day, if you're going to start my day off wrong, eat burnt toast, you wrong. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. I will eat the burger. Thank you. <laughs> you just proved us right. Oh. <laughs> oh, it is Alicia Energy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mission failed. Burger time. Burger time. Burger time. Burger time. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, fuck. Was that? Oh, fuck. Oh, King of Oz, a hypocrite? Oh, breaking news. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. Oh. <laughs> Damn, this yeah, distance scream wild. Pick up some more while I'm out today. Sounds like the meme distance scream. You're still going to that contest rehearsal without me? Well, you have a packed day today, and I know you aren't big on the whole mammon thing, so... It's the Greed Ring. One of the cities is... Li Do you know what? I'm glad that that newspaper kind of called out the hypocrisy of it. Because these two are kind of hell of adorable. And then, like, he shat all over Stolas for the same thing with an imp. So it's, like, kind of great. Like, the karma's great. Listen, I like him, but the karma's perfect. Literally called Ransom. Ah, you worry too much. You know I ain't afraid of ropes. Sides, I'm slippery. I mean, only after I... What? What? Come on, Oz. I... Only after, uh, what did you say? <laughs> be on my own one day. But you haven't been to the greed ring alone since becoming Mam's big brand figure. Yeah, I guess, but it's not like I'm gonna stick around. I can get you an escort. Uh, I can handle it. Come on, big daddy. Squeeze. That. 
How could you say no to that? Well, Come on. You know I can't say no to a face that cute. Exactly. How did you say no to that? I do that to Rich. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I hate this. Just shut up. I'm not him. That's why I use it. I hate it here. I hate it here. I'm, just, I'm crawling out of my skin, bro. I'm crawling out of my skin. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, fizzy frog. Stop it. No. <laughs> Oz, I have the new ship, Lando. You mind trying to have an unemotional bang sesh here? Yeah, because we're so not in love. Yeah, love is stupid. Oh. That was close, huh? <sighs> Just come right back when it's over and keep your phone on you, okay? Got it right Aww. here. Be right back after. Don't worry, Oz. I'll be super low key. Nobody will notice. No, they will definitely notice you. That is bad foreshadowing. Bad, bad foreshadowing. Jizz Lord? Okay, but for real, though? Listen, if I had that much squeeze, if I had that much money, best believe I'd have a red carpet roll up for me everywhere. <laughs> like, listen, if I was living like Bezos and shit, <laughs> I don't know about the dildos popping out vibing like that, but shit. Like, I don't know about these motherfuckers for real, but damn. <laughs> Oh, they, they, they're coming. Oh. Choke on my confetti, bitch. Should have been more fabulous. Oh! Me and my babies! Look at my little babies! They're going for a walk! Time to go! Girl! Settle down! Man, it's great not being in the spotlight for once. Okay, you are not incognito, little buddy. <laughs> That's... Lady, it's not my fault if you only know how to make coffee that tastes like this. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wow. Looky who it is. Oh, fuck. You again. Stalking me now, huh? Oh, don't fucking flatter yourself, clown. I have my own life, you know, without you in it. Uh-huh. Sure, Aww. Glitzo. It's so cute because they have like a similar jacket style still. Even though they're trying to be different. Did you notice how they both have like that long style of jacket that they're both wearing? I love that. Yourself, clown. I like have with the coattails? You know, it's pretty great. In it. Uh -huh. Sure, Blitzo. The O is silent now, bitch. And gee whiz, we've been in each other's relative vicinity twice in the last 15 years. That would make me the shittiest stalker in history. Twice is already way too much. Oh, damn, bitch. That's cold as hell. Yeah, well, at least I'm still actually working for my shit and not getting everything handed to me like some pampered attention whore. <laughs> Oh, you did not. <laughs> oh, you did not. <laughs> oh, he. Oh, some hold my earrings, bitch. Some hold my earrings. Oh, hell no, it's on. Oh, bitch, it's on. Mm. Some hold my earrings, bitch. Who in chat's holding them? Someone in chat, hold my earrings. I'm fighting a motherfucker for real. Come here. Someone take them quickly. Go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sora. <laughs> Yeah, well, Aww. yes, that's what resilience and tech. Wait, that's so cute. Wait. From Ozzy with heart. That's so cute. Yeah, well, yes, that's what resilience and talent gets ya. <laughs> Plus, my horns were always bigger than yours, weren't they? Damn, that's... <laughs> oh, shit! You go one of me! Damn, both of them had condoms flying out of them. <laughs> so, you say you're good? Cause we really wait. Better yet, we use protection. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Does that not seem even weirder? <laughs> right? <laughs> Big score right now. 
The Bass had a royal on the ropes just last week. Sure, but not dead. It was called off, but I have a body count in the hundreds. I ain't mm -hmm. afraid to go after anyone. Women, kids, and cute little face puppy looking things. <laughs> All right, say a motherfucker evil win. <laughs> Don't matter. Hmm. I'll tell you what. If you can deliver something of value. Oh, actually, can I? I'm a side tangent really hard for a second because I saw so many people shit on episode five of season two. Like the, the whole like uh, Millard and Loxine thing. And I just want to like talk about it a bit because it really bugged me that people just didn't understand, I guess. I don't know. Like if you look at it at face value, sure, I can see your point. But one of the comments that really irked me was one that was like, why would, like, why would Millie need, like, other people's recognition? She already knows that she's great, and she's constantly told by her husband, what more does she need? It doesn't make sense. And I'm like, shit, as somebody who, like, works in a public space and, like, works, like, I love validation feeling validated by other people not just only your partner means something there's nothing wrong with wanting that it's just a very bizarre thing to not realize that like listen i know i'm a bad bitch i know i'm incredible and my fiance tells me that all the time doesn't mean that it isn't beautiful and meaningful when other people tell you that it's it feels good and especially when you feel like you don't get to have the spotlight like other people do but you get to shine in your own way. Like, it's nice to be acknowledged that way. And she talked about, like, even her own personal experience where it feels harder to be acknowledged because she's a woman. And then she got to feel what it's like to, like, have it all come a lot easier to her from her own personal experience. And that's totally valid. Now, when it comes to also uh, Moxie, I think it's really important to understand you can't have a character that's constantly, like, doing the right thing. It's amazing that they showed him being a real person, right? Because that's the thing, is that, yes, what he did was fucked up, right? He invalidates her. He, like, feels a lot of, like, anger and, like, frustration. But if you think it's actually directed at her, you understood the scene wrong. The point of the scene is called projection. When you have emotions that... Ha that come into extreme scenarios there's a thing that you can do called projection this happens to all of us we all have done this at some point or another where we project our own feelings onto another person because we can't like process or think properly in the moment to understand it's our own issue so moxie made it a problem that oh, like, oh it's millie's fault it's millie's problem without realizing oh the self-reflection aspect oh i was the problem oh i said the wrong thing oh, I need to understand my self-worth and value more. Oh, I need to understand the acceptance of others isn't everything. I need to start having a, like a better self-esteem. Like, and then the moment he started to like pull that all together, right? That's when he like did the right action, right? He did the right thing after. And what made it even more realistic is that he tried to do it initially, but failed at it because he didn't process his emotions yet. So when it happened the second time and she stormed off to go do her stage thing and he messed up the second time, it made perfect sense because it's like, oh, he still hasn't processed his feelings. So him failing a second time works. And then, bam, he ends up showing the massive support for her. And she still pushes him to go follow his own passions and what he wants to do too, which I think is awesome. Now, in relation to, like, the other aspects of when it comes to Moxie, if you compare, like, the writing in episode one for Moxie, where it's, like, this anxiety, this, like, a like this, like, almost, like, apprehensiveness towards a lot of committal actions, it's because a lot of the time he's battling with his own level of, like, what what can he justify in his head? And another aspect of that, too, relates to, like, his own family and upbringing, where, like what your actions and what you ascertain through power and money and influence is what your value equates to. So when he didn't gain favor with those girls after trying that hard, 
it also tackles into that aspect of his character where his whole entire understanding of his self-worth was based in those realities of oh my impact and influence upon others is based in what i can accomplish which is why he was bragging about his accomplishments his amount of wealth and his status right he took all those things he learned from his interactions in his childhood in his family dynamic and applied them to that character that he portrayed so when it didn't work he's like what the fuck it should have worked (laughs) <laughs> right? So it's not like bizarre out of character. There was other people who also questioned why did he like go into this very overly feminine like gender bent thing and why did she go like why did they just stick to their gender roles and type of thing? And you know what? I think it actually really worked out because there's times where people just like to be expressive and have fun. I don't know if you've ever tried acting before cosplaying, role-playing, any of those things where you just get lost into a character for fun, right? And that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to play one of those fun, bitchy, mean girls and have a good time. And he thought it would work. That's all. It doesn't have to be deeper than that for that aspect, right? And that's what I'm saying is that if you want to cringe at the episode as a whole because you really like those characters and seeing that situation is difficult, totally fine to cringe at it. But don't don't excuse it away as bad writing because as character writing aspects, it makes sense because of the development of the show. If you watch the episode as a standalone, I could see your point more. But since we know Moxie's entire history, we understand that Millie, even in her own background, it came to her own family and like understanding the family dynamic she had and feeling like kind of slighted by her own sibling where her parents are kind of they have a little bit of disdain originally towards her fiance. I mean, towards her husband. And just like a lot of these feelings of inadequacy to the people around her versus like seeing the like awesome bad bitch she is. It's good to feel validated. I mean, as somebody as myself who like in a personal aspect, when I was like growing up and young, I didn't receive a lot of validation. So when it came to my adult years, I realized validation is something I really crave. And I'm in the perfect industry for that because as a YouTuber, there is a lot of validation in it. So it's like, just because you're a badass and you're a bad bitch and you know you are and you have a partner who knows you are, doesn't mean that that doesn't, that's like all you need in life. Sometimes it's just nice to have something extra. It's not a necessity, but it's nice to have and it feels really fucking good. Anyways, just wanted to point that all out really quick and talk about it. I was going to make it into a separate video, but I was like, ah, never mind. So here we are. I'll consider it. One moment. (laughs) Uh, I went to university for psych. (laughs) Chat, that's... (laughs) But no, I would not consider being a therapist. I am perfectly happy being a YouTuber who talks about feelings. (laughs) Hiya. (laughs) Wanted to run into you again. Let's see. And with a famous phrase. Oh, that's a problem. For the record, we are not friends. Yeah, your besties. <laughs> oh my god, a dildo painting shop? Lit. Oh my god, the fact that they're sword fighting with the dildos. You hit the spot right there. That's good. I like I like that. That's good. Wow. Let's watch the test chamber. I'm sorry, what kind of pressure and or bullshit are you doing to that dildo to cause it to blow up like that? Like, do we got... Huh? (laughs) People got exploding assholes? (laughs) Excuse you? Also, this picture, this painting of them is so cute. Oh. Stolas. Hey there, birdie babe. Haven't seen you since you crashed my club. How you been? <laughs> Still getting your kink on with that feisty imp? Uh, well, um, that's actually what I'm here about. You see, I um, seem to have found myself with feelings for him, and I'm not sure if it's a mutual thing. Uh-huh. Well, I can tell you, if you're looking for a love potion, you came to the wrong fucking guy. I don't fuck with that artificial bullshit. Lust. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> oh, you know that song from Hercules? I will say I'm in love. 
doo-doo, doo-doo. Well, he does know he's in love. He just doesn't want to tell everybody else because he's hiding that shit. Shouldn't be about force. It's an art to be earned and enjoyed. It's all about that journey to pleasure town. You feel me? <laughs> oh, no, never, never that. I just, you see, Low jobs are lit. this imp has a business he runs. He needs to access the mortal realm to carry out his work. I know your demons are some of the only ones who can traverse freely and legally. I was wondering if you could assist me in finding a way he could too. Oh, hmm, stole this. My heart bleeds for you, but my partner, a uh, business partner oh. Rally, hates <laughs> your imp guy blitzo right yeah hates he does but why not my story to tell but trust me oh. i would help if i could but i can't sorry i can't because my man's my side squeeze will be hella pissed if i helped you so i can't <laughs> like i would be mm. <laughs> i get it Oh you know me, oh my know me. god. Both of them going after their mans, their respective men? Oh bitch! Oh, it's that kind of episode. Oh, they going hunting. Oh, you fucked with the two wrong motherfuckers. Oh my god, yes. All you need to know is I have your little jester here with me. If you want him back alive, you will give me exactly what I want. Do you? Have any idea who you are fucking with? I think it's a recording. You probably just asked if I know who I'm dealing with. No, nope. oh, fucking yes, with, but yeah. I know. The weakest and most non threatening of the sins. The king who will do whatever it takes to save the worst kept secret in all of hell. We both know you won't risk anything happening to the clown. So be a good little bitch boy and do the thing. My lawyers will be over shortly with the contract of the man. Come on. You haven't told the witching hour to sign it. <laughs> now cut. I said cut it, you fucking... Oh, never mind. I thought the bullets would show up in there too, but I guess not. I hope Stolish just helps regard. Oh, fuck! Chill out, Jester. Christ on a stick. It's like you've never been tied up before. Uh, sure, but not by a bunch of psychos and a piece of shit. Am I, okay, am I the psycho or the piece of shit? <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, that's fair. That's a fair thing to say. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's just. I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry. My heart. I just. <laughs> I just want them all to be happy and together. Oh, but Blitz self sabotage is too much for anyone to. Oh, this hurts. How is this happening? Oh my god, he got killed with a baby face. Some gas station milk and rehearse some juggling. Oh, relax. I'm sure your big royal chicken ain't gonna let anything happen to his peppy little fuck doll. Oh, playing that card, huh? Okay. What about you? Seems your tastes have gotten more. Regal lately. <laughs> yeah, well, unlike you, I fuck who I want when I want. I'm not gonna be tied down to some big blue blood asshole. You could have fooled me the way Princey was cozying up to you at Ozzy's. True. Hey, Stolitz only cares about having a rugged peasant raw dog him into his mattress. It's nothing, you know. It's nothing else. Then why were you even there? Other very important reasons, of course. Uh, because I was stalking my two employees who I want to. Because I deeply want the same connection that they have with each other, but I can't seem to find it because I'm too busy hating myself with a lot of self-loathing and can't find the connection myself. So even when the connection presents itself to me, I still self-sabotage it because I can't, I don't think I'm worthy of love or worthy of respect at all. But you know, normal shit. I don't actually care. I mean, Stolas is just a <laughs> loud, thirsty bitch who loves feeling the thrill of getting dicked by the lower class. It's a novelty to him. Literally just said I don't care. And then he'll call me and try and see how my day was. And he'll pretend to care about me and comment on my photos and laugh at my jokes. He just uh, loves you. Well, that's definitely your clue right there that it's all bullshit. I know, what? right? He's just a fake privileged <laughs> asshole. Clearly, clearly he was like fucking with you and being sarcastic. Blitzy. <laughs> 
How did you not realize that? Oh my god, he's too wound up in his own shit. Like, he even rolled his damn eyes at you like, Shit, I know, right? He's just a fake... Like this, like this motherfucker, are you serious? <laughs> like, Fizz is like... Mm, Fizzy Boy is like, I can't believe this motherfucker actually thought I was being real with him. Are you serious? <laughs> like, he's like, are... This dumb bitch don't realize that motherfucker in love with him. What? <laughs> Privileged asshole. Sounds like you just hate him for being a prince. Because no one, and I mean no one, pretends to care that much just for a cheap lay. Point is... There we go. Now he spelled it flat out. He's like, yeah, no one pretends to care that much for a cheap lay. He... Hello? Hello? Real demons don't give a shit about guys like us. They're all the fucking same. That's not always true. Oh. He said that's not true so passionately because he know he in love and he got a deep connection with Ozzy and they finna be in love. Ooh. But I guess you're right. They can't all be the same if some have taste and some want to fuck you. Can we talk about something other than Damn. my sex life? Satan's taint. Does fucking that lust guy make this what you're all about now? You brought it up, asshole. You two shut the fuck up already. Pick her like a couple of teen skanks. Okay, you say that? But I had to look at a whole statue of a big ass dick, all right? With your hard rock on boner with a little bit of a pointy tip that was like a little too angular, like it was a little too pointed. <laughs> kind of strange. I don't know if you get that checked out or not. <laughs> like, the head should be more rounded than that, but it really wasn't. <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you two are both embarrassments to our kind for meddling with blue bloods to begin with. But at least Loudmouth here has the sense to only fuck his rich bitch instead of being a little purse dog. Oh great, the fucking supremacist is on my side. Wonderful. Neither are you. <laughs> yeah, you know you in the wrong one. <laughs> you know you in the wrong one. Ooh. <laughs> you filth bags know what you're even talking about. If you think you're superior to anyone, then you are no better than any royal. Don't you dare finish that sentence, clown. Hey, hit for hire. I said watch them, not fuck them. Keep your hands off the merchandise. Ah, ever heard of mouthwash? Fuck face. Oh, tell them. Tell him, Fizzy. Ugh, can I just sign it already? Like, can we move this along? Sire, you need to know the contents of this contract. You can't just sign it. A deal made with a sin like yourself would be everlastingly binding. Perhaps I can look it over. I'm a fast reader. Oh, hmm. This is a contract giving Crimson all of Ozzy's factory assets and giving him permission to use Fizzerali's head for a wall decoration. Wait, what? Just making sure you're paying attention. <laughs> Thank fuck we didn't sign it. Thank you, Stolas, for being a reader. God damn, with all them motherfucking books in your place, you proved right, buddy. Here's the real contract. Oh, this will be fun. I love words. I love <laughs> he's, he's the best. He's my favorite. I love Stolas. I'm getting both those plushies, dude. I love Stolas. Oh, yay, I love words. <laughs> like, you just like a beep. <laughs> you know, you're really bad at this. Uh, hmm. You know, last time I checked, I was a fucking jester, not an escape artist. Oh, <laughs> damn. I just want to go home. Oh. You want me to get you out? Y yes. Oh, he's a pouty baby. You had a knife this whole time. Ah. Now stop bitching while I work this. Aww. Ah, bingo. So what now, genius? See that remote? I mean, I could stretch down there. No, I have a better idea. Oh, damn! Did we get a free beer? <gasps> oh! Oh, they fighting each other. Oh, they brawling each other. Oh, damn, he just. Oh, sh oh, damn. Oh, and we got popcorn lit. Oh, I love this. Well, that didn't. 
No, it worked. We good. <laughs> Show off. Yeah. Woo! Oh! Wait, I kind of love everything about this because they're both childhood besties. Wait, I love that. Also, I don't know if you were into that phase on YouTube when they when there's people doing those elaborate marble thingies that would like go down elaborate thingies and like do -do 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 and then they would like <laughs> it was kind of like mouse trap but on crack. Just to do a simple function, like turn off a light switch or something. Like, and I love them shit, so it kind of reminded me of that. So it was pretty fun. <laughs> oh. Oh. This usually works. Oh. God damn it. What the fuck, Finn? How is someone this flexible, this useless in combat? I'm a performer. I sing. I dance. I promote products that I don't actually use. I don't do danger. Well, good to know you're still a wimpy circus puss. I'd give you a comeback, but that imply I'd give a shit what you think. You always cared what I thought. <laughs> After what oh. you did to me. I didn't do anything. It was an accident. An accident? What? Are you kidding me? You always had it out for me because people liked me better. You wanted me gone because you were jealous. Just wanting the spotlight. I looked up to you. I thought you were my best friend. You ruined my life. And then you just left me. I lost so much because of you. And you selfish piece of shit. You oh, even fuck. Care. I did care. It was an accident. It was. <laughs> Oh god. Oh that's so fucking sad. Oh my god. I can't even imagine what happened between Litzy and his sister now. Like, if that's oh. God, and that's why he like, oh my god, and that explains the whole gesture ear thingies and oh god, his fucking horns. Did you see that shit? And his skin and everything that's so fucking sad. That's so sad. Stop telling me to press play. Fuck you. I will press play when I'm ready to press play. To spite you, I'm not pressing it yet. Yeah. What you gonna do now? Hmm? Keep y'all motherfuckers in check real quick. I'll pause when I want to pause. There you go. <laughs> okay, you're right. It was all my fault, okay? I, I should have done more to help. I was, I was trying. There was so much going on. I was trying to get help, Fizz. I just... <laughs> it was still my fault. Glad you can admit it. Want a medal? Look, I'm sorry, Fizz. I am so sorry that you got so hurt. I'm sorry for what you lost. And I, I know I can never make that right. But you have no idea what I lost in that fire. idea what I lost in that fire. No wonder why your sister hates you. Oh, no wonder why. Oh, fuck. It's like there's so much to unpack here because his sister like had the crossed out symbol on her forehead because she doesn't want to be a because the only remaining family she has is Blitz and like 
so here it's perfectly fine, but she chose to, like, exit out because she, because she feels like he ruined their family and she doesn't want to be associated with him. And he holds on to her necklace and wears it. And, like, that's so fucked. I mean, it's, it's all my fault. I'd hate me, too. I mean, I... And then he could only cry out of the one. What the fuck? I, oh. I mean, it's it's all my fault. I, I'd hate me too. I just love the fact that it explains, like the white, like, like, like the white mark right here. Like, oh. because it also matches the fact that his face is white from the burning. Because that's what happened when the explosion happened. What's going on? Uh. Uh. By the way, the letter Blitz was uh oh, Blitz wanted to give Fizz was for Fizz's eyes only. I'm gonna go back and see that. I am so <gasps> For Fizz's eyes only he has a flower and a little heart on the seal. I'm so, so sorry that you got so hurt. Happy birthday, Fizz, on the cake. I'm sorry for what you You hate oh, you have no idea what I lost in that fire. I mean, it's it's all my fault. I'd hate me too. I mean, I do hate. Oh, I hate shit so too, damn. Why didn't you try to tell me any of this, or come see me? Even once would have been fine. I tried. You were all I had left, Fizz, but they told me you didn't want to see me. I never told them that. Bullshit. You didn't? No, and no one told me you came. Oh. Oh, right. oh fuck. Are you serious? Ah, oh, who sabotaged them? Who sabotaged them? Wait. It wasn't Stolas, was it? Because Stolas was Blitz's. Blitz was Stolas's first friend. Maybe he got jealous and didn't want them to be together. I. I don't know. Okay, so I believe this draft allows for some factory ownership, specifically mm -hmm. located in the greed ring, with allocated funds going to your client for the foreseeable future while ensuring the safe return of one Fizzerali. The only thing is that it couldn't really be Stolas because he lost contact with Blitz for like ever, for like 15 years or whatever, or however many years it was. And then they contacted each other again because he broke into to steal the book. So it couldn't have been that because he didn't benefit from it. So... That wouldn't make sense either. Yeah, sure, sounds good. Now, let me just reread this. Hurry up! Yelling won't make me read this. Oh, that's crazy. Ah, look, understanding or no, it's hard to just forgive you. It's been 15 years, and that's so much time. But ah, I guess you didn't really ruin my life. Well, you're telling me getting blown up didn't ruin your life? It was painful and challenging and, you know, fuck you still. Okay. But it's not like I'm broken and I now have someone. Oh my God. He's, they both are processing their emotions. I love when people process their emotions and work through their traumas. And like, yes, traumas can still affect us no matter what. But as we can process them, it makes like understanding and like not even moving wrong, but accepting what happened to like not haunt your life in a day-to-day -day basis, but just the like the ramifications of it still affecting you. And god damn. Me and, uh, uh, fuck you. My life is no, no, fuck you. pretty great. Yeah, that's lovely. You got a good thing going on with that horny rooster fucker, don't you? Oh yeah. It's been fantastic. Uh, Cuz you know, 
It's a great gig, and, and, and he's got the biggest cock, you know, yeah. like massive. I mean, imagine, like, the biggest, just a <laughs> giant, huge, like a kaiju, but it's a cock, you know what I mean? Like a, <laughs> like a kaiju, but it's a cock. <laughs> In the subtitles, it says I was paid to say, hold on. Or don't you? Oh, yeah, it's been fantastic. Because, uh, you know. It's a great gig, and, and and he's got the biggest cock, you know, like massive. I mean, imagine like the biggest, just a giant, huge, like a kaiju, but it's a cock. You know what I mean? Like a big monster. It's big. It's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah, I'm happy for you, Fizz. <laughs> the kaiju cock is crazy. <laughs> If you want to prove yourself, cowboy, here's your chance. <laughs> You've been a pain in my ass long enough, Blitz. Now, I'm going to break you like a fucking horse. Oh, don't you dare talk sexy to me. You're still on the horse thing? <laughs> distract my dad so I could steal his booze. I mean, yeah, why? Yeah, well, I need to get up to that window there to bust us out. Oh, one distraction coming up. <laughs> you better not leave him there, Blitz. You better go up to that area and save him too. Oh. Oh. Amazing. Oh, did you also see the look that Blitz gave him? Like, hold on. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I literally like him fool's gold. I was like, I literally like how he gave him fool's gold, but what the fuck was the breakdown, dog? <laughs> Hit that shit. Oh shit, get that shit. He dropped it. Are they? Oh, dynamite. That's convenient dynamite.
Woo! Let's go! And the double flip off, let's go! <laughs> You're actually pretty good at this action hero bullshit. And you really know how to put on a show, which is almost as impressive as the thing you said I was good at. <laughs> All right, let's get it. I guess royal jesters first. Oh, <gasps> no, no. Get your fucking shit stained claws off him. <laughs> No. You think I'm just Please no. get away after all this? I'm through losing these fights. This worthless little pet reeks of his overbloated master. I'll at least enjoy getting rid of him. Okay. Is it bad that I'm getting hard? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I love Why that. It's always a sex thing. Because <laughs> it's fun to always be a sex thing. Get him. Make up for before. Get him. Make up for before. Redemption. Redemption. Oh, he's using his circus shoes. Oh, he's using his circus shoes. <laughs> so, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. You blew me up again, you fucking prick. I did. But this time I stuck around. moment if we made out right now <laughs> that's it i'm going to fucking end your life oh. fizzy Little one. Good. <laughs> oh, my shape! Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay, babe. You ain't never leaving the palace without protection again. Yeah, that's fair. Oz, you know there's eyes around. I know. I don't care, because they know if they tell anyone, I'll break them. Yep. Fair. Now they can be open about it in the palace. Dope. But it's already kind of public, because it's in the newspaper. But it's cool. Well, don't worry. Today I learned that I hate going outside. Oh, good. You won't have to again. I'm sorry. I got a little messy. You don't need to apologize for getting banged up, babe. I'm just sorry I couldn't be there. It's okay, Oz. Guess I'm just not used to this kind of thing. <sighs> it's been an intense day. Just Aww. take it easy, okay? Oh, it's fine. I'm fine, really. You know I bounce back fast. <laughs> oh. Aww. So, besides my whole scary hostage thing, how was your day? It's so cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I can think about is like, like, I apologize. Like, this is a really, like, this is Alicia opening up a little bit that she has not been up about before. But as you guys know, I, I like, I'm technically still battling uterine cancer. I'm in remission right now. Um, but one of the things was that I, like, couldn't have sex while battling cancer. So I was constantly apologizing for it all the time. <laughs> and because, like, being sexually active with my partner is really meaningful to me. Like, obviously, I would still get them off and stuff because, like... Your girl a real one, her mouth seems strong. But, like, you know, it just kind of, like, made me constantly apologetic. And, like, my partner's extremely reassuring, which helped a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. It's nice to be able to, like, do it now. But, like, goddamn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Day? Well... I was stuck with Stolas the whole time. Who? 
By I do, way, amazing way, partner. Ask me to give him one of my crystals as a gift for that guy you hate. So, I told him no. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Eh, fuck it. Let him have it. Excuse me? Yeah, why not? You could say he earned it. All right, then. All right. Anything for you. Yay! So that means, like, if Blitz gets the crystal to be able to travel between, like, like Earth, like, like the human realm and, like, their realm, that means he doesn't need to depend on Stolas. But, like, the problem with that is that Blitz also technically wants a connection to Stolas, and he's seeking an excuse to do it. So now that he no longer has that excuse, he has to confront his feelings of, it, of loving him or not. And I don't think Blitz is ready emotionally to confess that. So it's like... Because, like, Stolas is doing something that makes a lot of sense and is good. Because you don't want to, like, have someone captive in a relationship. Right? You want to make it so that they have their own freedom. And they can choose whether to be with you or not. But I don't think Blitz would choose it. I don't think, I think that he sees himself so lowly that he's, he feels like he's unworthy of love. Now, I don't know about you, but having a violent brush with crime has given me a whole mess of new kinks. You want to go make a mess? You really think that's a good idea right now, Fizz? Sure, don't you? Well, obviously. <laughs> he said yum yum yum. <laughs> I love that. Oh. This episode is incredible. Can't wait for the next one. Anyways, thanks for watching YouTube. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for your love and support always. And for those of you guys over on Twitch, happy you're tuning in live. Hey, for those of you guys over on YouTube, though, I hope you check out the Twitch channel, Alicia X Life. That's right, you're watching Alicia X Death. Alicia X Life is my Twitch. Bye!